Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. This is part three of my chop saw table build. And as you can see, I'm back from powder coat. Put down in the comments below if you like the color. I like to make my tables an orange. It stands out a lot more exciting than Battleship Gray, which a lot of tables are made out of. Well, I made a couple mistakes on this table and we'll get to one initially and one later on in the video, so stick around for that. So I got a piece of inner tube here and that's gonna act as a cushion not to scratch the powder coat. Whenever I get a flat tire on my bicycle, I save the inner tube and I put my jar here, inner tube pieces. And you'd be surprised how often I use these little pieces of rubber as a cushion. First off, let's install the chop saw. So in the first video, I put slots in here because if you can't make it perfect, make it adjustable. I milled the slot for 5 16 bolt. I'm still gonna use them, but I should have milled the slot a little bit wider because I, I forgot that the powder coat on each side of the slot made it a little bit narrower. So I'm gonna have to hammer these in and scratch my beautiful powder coat paint job. So the bolts hammered in really easily. I don't think I scratched too much of the powder coat. You work hard to make it perfect and then something like that happens. One of the many criteria I had for this build is I wanted the bed, the face, the table, whatever you want to call it, of the chop saw to be the same height as my old welding table and my new welding table. So I put a level across there and it's just about perfect. That way, if I cut anything that's long, it can either straddle this table or the other table. And I'm real happy with that. Probably have some little fine adjustments to do it, but it's pretty level. And you can see I drilled and tapped a bunch of holes for quarter 20. I might put some side panels on here on the future, or maybe some accessories to hold the extra saw blade. I'm gonna use the saw for a while and then kind of determine what I wanna do. So if you remember in the first video, I spent a lot of time making this wooden frame. And this wooden frame held this bakery pan. And that's gonna go right in here and collect all the chips. Well, the big mistake I made when I was welding, I welded this upside down. And well, let's just say I get easily confused. And I got confused and I welded it wrong. And this does not fit in here. The legs are supposed to be well in a different orientation. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. That's going to wait for another day, like I said. Now, the sad thing is this is a factory tray, and that fits right in there perfect, or whatever, but no, it doesn't. So if I add some spacers in here to get those drawer slides in there, I'll have to make a new tray out of something else. I don't know, maybe wood. But let's move on. I have a few of these uh, buckets here from cat litter and five gallon buckets from pickles. And I like to set them in here. This way I can put my scraps in one, maybe call it aluminum, maybe one steel. And just kind of, as I cut a piece off, throw it in there. So let me come back and I'm gonna cut a piece of plywood I got laying around here and we can do that. So here is my chop saw table, cart, stand, resting place. This is where it's going to live when it's not being used. As I use it, I'll be adding accessories to it. I'll have to come up with some way of plucking all those chips that like to fly all over the place. I might put some side panels on here, but I got a garbage can I recycled, a five gallon pickle bucket, and then a container from cat litter. And I'm not sure if that's going to be the final resting spot. I got to use that and see how it goes. I like to get a little bucket back for this thing and have it 
on board all the time. So after I'm done cutting, I plug it in and I do a quick little vacuum job. So this is MKE Gadgets. This project didn't turn out the way I hoped for and I planned for a very long time for this table, but that's the way it goes. I'm sure I'll come up with something that's even more exciting and, and useful. Maybe in the future I'll make a part four. At this time, I don't know. So please support my channel by subscribing. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of the year. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.